Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're featuring another Bremont and this is my absolute favourite. This is the Martin Baker. This one being the Martin Baker 2. Now I've come so close to buying this watch so many times on different forums even when they first came out in about 2009, 2010-ish and I, it's one of these watches which has always slipped away from me. I've got no idea why but there you go. Anyway before I get too far into this review, I've got to say a big thank you to Ryan and the team over at Francis and Gale Commentary for allowing me to review this watch. They've got such a good level of stock, not only Bremont, but you know, you've seen Ballon Ross, Doxa, Grand Seiko, Zinn, you name it, they've got it. Really worth popping in, having a look round, or simply give them a call and I dare say they'll be able to sort out a deal and get a watch out to you. So, sizes of this watch. We're talking a 43mm case size, 14mm thick, and 49 lug to lug, though as you can see it does kind of sculpt, it does come down there. And we've got a band width of 22mm, let's have a little closer look at that dial. Now we've got a real nice clear easy to read dial there, these big sword hands and the printed hours. They do all have loom, and it, the loom's actually pretty decent on this watch, as too does the tip of the second hand with that little red tip there. You can see it, that's got some loom there. Now you might notice at the end of the second hand there, we have this kind of black and yellow hoop. Now what that signifies is the collaboration with Martin Baker. Martin Baker are a, uh, they basically make, I believe it's, it's almost three quarters of the world's ejector seats for planes. So, that's where the kind of uh, relationship comes to because they also test them on there. Now I believe there's even a version if you happen to use an ejector seat there is a, a, a special edition version of this watch available to pilots who do use that. So anyway back to that dial obviously the Bremont I do like their logo the two propeller uh, the propeller blades on there I think it looks really good. Obviously it says anti-shock and automatic now, this watch has been tested to extremes when it comes to shock. They have actually used them on ejector seats to test them. So they are incredibly shock resistant. Not only shock resistant, they're quite, uh, they, I think there's a Faraday cage within this watch. So also anti-magnetic and I believe they test them to extreme temperatures, think like minus 40 up to plus 40. So this really is quite a solid watch. Now, you might notice we have two crowns here. Now that's because we have an internal rotating bezel on this. So if I operate this crown here, we have an internal rotating, you can hear it there. Bidirectional, and to be fair, it is a really nice to operate crown and it locks in perfectly. Um, I've had a few different internal rotating crowns or at least a couple I've reviewed. This I would say is my favorite. It's a really nice one to operate. So, and it does line up perfectly as you can see. Now, the case on this watch. Well, first of all, we have the Sapphire Crystal, which is a rather nice one and blends seamlessly into that bezel. I believe there's something like nine layers of AR coating on this. So it does, to be fair, a reasonable job of, um, of hiding a lot of the reflections. Obviously, I've got a lot of lights going on in, in here, so you're going to see a lot of lights. Now, as we come round, this is where we get one of the other kind of party pieces from Bremont and that's their three piece case. Now these again you can opt for several different colours. Uh, overall I think there's could be eight or nine. I think it's nine colours overall and I think it really does look the biz how they do it and it's it's actually quite um, I wouldn't say sharp but it's definitely not smooth in any way. It almost feels like a nail file. It is that actual uh, kind of quite uh definitely you can get a grip of a watch let's put it this way it is uh quite prominent now one of the obviously we have all this brushwork on here but one thing i would say about this barrel um it is nulled aluminium so one thing to be aware of if you were to knock this yeah i i dare say it could mark up so that's something to be aware of but you can i know you can have these changed out when you send it in for service or even if you send it in for repair you can get these changed over so anyway, as we come round the back of the watch, 
It's a shame we don't have a display case back, but there again, this has, I believe, got a Faraday cage, so to stop the, you know, to help with um, basically static and um, magnetic field, so that's why you don't actually see in there. But it is still a beautiful looking back on there. I think that is actually very nice. Now, the crown on this watch, to actually operate a watch, isn't a screw down crown. So we have got hand, it is a hand winding movement. The movement in this watch, uh, I think they call it a BE36AE, I believe it is, which is a variant of a ETA2836. So we're talking 25 joules, 38 hours power reserve, but most importantly, this is a chronometer spec watch. I did have this on the time grapher earlier and it did well. I think it was like two seconds a day, roughly. So it is actually a very accurate rot. Uh, watch. I believe they have modified the shock system on the hairspring to allow it to withstand a lot more um, abuse than what the standard watch can take. It is 100 meters water resistant. Now, being that we have this orange barrel here, we have this rather cool looking strap here with the uh, black orange stitch and then you see the rub around here. It is actually quite soft and pliable because of these cutouts in there. So, Oh, actually, check this uh, clasp out. It is lovely. I love how they've done that. To me, I just think this is a lovely watch. Let me put it on my wrist so you get an idea how it actually looks. Quick um, wrist check. I'm wearing my brand new, just got it today, Picrone, uh Royal Manual, which is on a John Keeley strap. And Bob over there is sporting his Zin EZM13. Now, let's put this on here. Now, my wrist size is around about seven and a quarter inches. Let's put this on, have a quick look. There we go. He says, let's see if I can get this in here. There, that's it. And that's it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. I think it looks absolutely cracking. I mean, it's just such a cool watch. It's one of these watches which if you choose to have like one of the more unusual colors like the orange, it really does get noticed. People see it on your wrist and it's one of these, yeah, it, it, you're gonna get people talking about it for sure because it is just that little bit different. And I think it, it really is quite a good looking watch. So anyway, there you go. That's my little review of the Martin Baker. Is it a watch you'd buy? Do you Could you ever consider yourselves buying one of these? I definitely could. I say it is a watch which has got a, gotten away from me a couple of times. So anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. And I'll see you in the next watch review. Stay safe out there, guys. Bye.